Good evening, everybody. My name is Angela Walker. I was the Green Party uh, vice presidential nominee for 2020 and also the vice presidential nominee for the Socialist Party of the USA. Um, it is my honor to have been asked by Tara to be participate, be a participant in this event tonight. Um, and I'm sorry that I, I can't be present for it. Um, but I want to thank Tara Reed for her courage because it is no small thing to stand in your bravery day after day after day. I thank you, Tara, for continuing the work to create spaces for those of us who are living under the weight of rape culture to be heard, to be safe, and to be seen. It is my honor to be a small part of this utterly necessary event. I say that rape culture is a weight because it is. Wikipedia defines rape culture as a sociological concept for a setting in which rape is pervasive and normalized due to societal attitudes about gender and sexuality. There is a lot I can say about this, but I'm gonna keep it pithy. To move about the world with this awareness that because you are viewed as less than or somehow weaker. You're fair game to be preyed on. That's very heavy to hold. And I know that everyone who is participating in and sharing this event this evening knows intimately what I am saying. I am thinking of the mosaic of strategies we create to go about our business safely and project that we are no one's prey. The keys clenched between the fingers, the headphones turned up whenever we have to take the train or the bus. The sending out of angry, don't try me energy five feet ahead of us. The mean mugging in all public spaces so folks know, stay back. And all the while we are hoping it will be enough. I do these things. Y'all do these things. It's exhausting, it's demeaning, and it's heavy. We deserve better than this, and we know it. And the knowing it is a powerful thing. We call out patriarchy as a system of oppression that creates and sustains rape culture. We demand that those who participate in and benefit from patriarchy and rape culture take the reins of the work to address and dismantle them both. We demand that those who participate in and benefit from patriarchy and rape culture look within themselves and do the work to unlearn the dehumanizing lessons they've been taught by this culture. Because to be very, very clear, the hard work of ending rape culture does not belong to the people who are victimized by it. Those who perpetrate it, if they wish to be fully human, and in right relationship with us who are surviving an insidious culture that seeks to diminish our personhood and bodily autonomy must do this work. There are no shortcuts. For all of us who are survivors of all of the harms that rape culture inflicts on us, I say this, keep moving, take up space. Keep raising your voices. Refuse to be cowed or silenced. The shame isn't yours, so don't hold on to it. Keep dancing, keep loving, keep writing and sharing. Know that you are loved and supported and held. We will keep fighting against patriarchy and rape culture until we are free of them both. Know that I am one spirit standing with you.